let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Persecution, the food for God's children, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Luke chapter 6, verse 26. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Golden text, Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 to 12. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Seek not for the love of man. Quote, Beloved, these are the words and teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, the teaching of God's love. You who receive praises, of man and seek your own glory. Have you seen what is written concerning you? You will always fall into the trap of the devil if you continue seeking for praises from men. For men praise robbers, thieves, murderers, swindlers, boasters, drunkards, idolaters, fornicators, and all types of immoral people. So, my beloved, the word of God is a two-edged sword. You are told in the scripture that blessed are you when men shall say all evil against you and persecute you for my name's sake. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven for so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. Brethren, if you visit any community and a particular person is introduced to you as an evildoer, the one known to be the most wicked man in that community, go to that very person for he is the only man of God as far as that area is concerned. On the other hand, if in a community a person is introduced to you as the best, please Avoid such, for he is the opposite of what is said about him. This so-called good person will turn out to be the embodiment of evil, and for that reason the people are loving him because the world loves its own. Learn from what happened between our Lord Jesus Christ and Barabbas the robber. The Jews wanted Barabbas released and our Lord Jesus Christ killed. They loved Barabbas who was their own, but our Lord Jesus Christ who was a righteous son of God most high, who committed no sin, was condemned. The situation in the world today emanates from the fact that it hates good and loves evil. For this reason, Evil multiplies at a very rapid rate. The world loves those that eat fish and meat, drink, smoke and fornicate. But once you refrain from your sinful ways, you will be hated because you are no longer of the world. Wherever you take, whenever you take to stealing and killing of your fellow human beings, as a profession, you will be highly regarded by the people of your community as their Jesus, and you will be termed a very good man. It is a laid down fact that members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star do not eat meat and fish, do not commit murder, fornication, nor engage in diabology. And if you happen to belong, to the fold of brotherhood of the cross and star, you will be called names and be despised. That is what is in the world 
a good man is despised and rejected. So if you want the world to call you good names and to love you, you must do evil and finally be condemned by God. For the world loves an evil doer. Brethren, if you are wealthy and are drunk and become unconscious and people in the process rob you, they will love you and always rally around you. But the moment you take a decision not to be a drunkard any longer and as a result of which you will not be robbed again, you will be hated and called many evil names. What God loves is what man hates. And man, ha and man loves what God hates. Wherever you see lawyers and doctors or kings and queens, presidents and governors, know that there is an evil person in the center of it all. Anything you see, everybody accept at first sight revolves around an evil person who is the pivot of it. There is a song which says that when you have money you have many friends but when money finishes friends run away. Let the first lesson be read again. First lesson Luke chapter 6 verse 26 Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Do not satisfy the world, brethren. Have you ever cogitate over this gospel? If you do not search through the book of God, you would not know that you are an identity. Most of you were regarded as Jesus Christ in the world when you were fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, drunkards, and murderers. But right from the day you repented and forsook all the evil practices, you become the worst fool to them. They then start to abuse and disgrace you. You are all witnesses to this gospel. Once you stop to eat fish and meat, the world would run away from you and call you an evil person. That was why when John the Baptist came without eating or drinking, they said he was possessed with a demon. But when our Lord Jesus Christ came, he ate and drank. Yet they called him the friend of sinners and the publican. <clears throat> Excuse me. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. And he said, He had a devil. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking. And he said, Behold a gluttonous man and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. That was in Luke chapter 7. Verses 32 to 34 Brethren, for this same reason, brotherhood of the cross and stars members are not promoted quickly. Are not promoted quickly in their place of work. For if a lady does not accept to fornicate with her boss, and other senior staff, she cannot be promoted. If a young man does not accept to give and drink wine, he cannot be promoted. He would even be asked to fornicate with his female boss. These are the very things brother of the cross and star abhors. Beloved, let us use an earthly event to demonstrate a heavenly situation. To show that no one man can satisfy the entire universe.
Here is the illustration. There was a man who has a fine son and a nice horse. And he decided to do what will please the whole world. As this man was going along the road with his horse and son, he met a man. This man advised him to place his son on the horse while he walked behind. So he mounted the young boy on the horse while he trekked. And their journey continued. After a short while, he met another person who shouted at him, Are you the owner of this horse? This person went further to advise him that since he owned the horse and the boy, he should bring down the boy to trek while he rides on the horse. Quickly, he ordered his son down and then mounted the horse. Along the way, they met another person who advised him that it would be better for both his son and himself to ride on the horse. Since he had decided to please all people, he called his son to join him on the horse. Then they continued their journey. So at a point, they met yet another person who told the man that the best way is for both of them, father and son, to carry the horse on their heads in order not to kill it. So he stepped down with his son and ordered that they should carry the horse on their heads. <coughs> Along the way, there was a river with a narrow bridge across it. In an attempt to cross the bridge with the horse on their heads, they fell into the river and died. Have you not seen what has happened to someone who wanted to please all human beings? This is what will happen to any person who wants to satisfy all people. Do not love the world in the expense of your life, brethren. No one servant can serve two masters with equal dedication and honesty. Once you are known to be a rogue, your name remains a rogue. You cannot do good and evil at the same time. Once you are involved in fornication, adultery, murder, robbery, and the rest of them, your house will always be filled with visitors who wish to either harm, who wish, to either learn from you or teach you the tricks of robbery to make you a professional as well as the most popular, they will sing praises of your good works, which before God is nothing but an irony. On the other hand, the moment you start to do good things, you will definitely become an enemy to the world. No one will visit you or say any good things about you. All those who claim to be good before the people of the world are hypocrites. They are those who perpetrate evil and hurt. They are enemies of God. Yet they are those who are given front seats during church ceremonies and community gatherings. Brethren, I want you to know that such people have perished. Do not seek the love and praises of the people. If you seek the praises and are praised by the people, know that you are dead. The worldly people only love and glorify their own. So if the worldly people praise and love you, you are then a child of the world. Such people who receive the praises of men are enemies of God. The person that the worldly people call evil names such as witchcraft, vampire, incubus, man killer and so on is a child of God. If you go close to such a person, you will see the virtues of God in him. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 to 12. 
Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Brethren, no, God says we should neither receive nor give bribe. But I want you to know that once the worldly people discover that you neither give nor receive bribe, they will call you many bad names. They will regard you as a bad man and will plan to hinder your progress if you neither drink nor offer someone wine or strong drink. They will regard you as the worst sinner and killer. Same thing if you refrain and abstain from committing fornication, adultery, idolatry and other vices. The reason why they say that brotherhood of the cross and star is the worst fold and call it all kinds of evil names is because brotherhood of the cross and star does not practice anything short of the word of God, which is love. When you say that since you became a member of Brother of the Cross and Star, nobody had recognized, nobody had questioned your membership, or that none had hated you for being a member, it means that you are not yet a practical and true brotherhood. Once you are a member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, the worldly people have to hate and disown you because you have been separated from them. They love you while you are a member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star only. If you are still joining them in all their mundane lust, passion, and practices, a real member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star does not fornicate, does not commit adultery or idolatry or murder or abortion and other forms of evil and immorality, and for this reason, he or she cannot be loved by the people of the world. People always ask with amazement why Brothers of the Cross and Stars members are hated and why some members backslide. This particular gospel has provided the answer. When Brotherhood of the Cross and Stars Peace Committee members were invited by the people of Akampa, Chief Magistrate, over the Yukwa case, the chief magistrate asked the committee members whether cases treated by them always end there. The peace committee members did not know why that question was asked. You can see that if the cases treated by the Brother of the Cross and Star Peace Committee ends without furtherance, then the law courts would have no case. In their own case, cases are extended one appeal after the other and in this way the lawyers, the magistrate and the judges feed fat. How can you be a friend of the lawyers, the magistrates and all legal luminaries? when you do not sue someone to court nor invite the police to arrest anybody. Blessed are you who stand firm with our God and practice his teachings, but those who will continue to commit sins, woe will be pronounced unto them that it will remain like that with them forever. Here is an illustration about how the world hates truth. Brethren, there was a community with a generous and well-behaved young man 
who live there. So for these sterling qualities, the people wanted him to become their king. But the young man told them that he does not want to be their king. His reason was that their way of delivering judgment was bad. So they asked him to tell them the way he would want to be delivering judgment. He proposed to them that whenever they want to deliver judgment, they should say their minds and he will give his verdict. The people accepted his proposal, so they agreed that all verdicts must be from the young king. There was a case that was pending in the court for centuries, and this was the first case he was to give his verdict as agreed by the people. The people knew the truth and facts about this case. But none was prepared to say it because there was a law that anyone who says it will be thrown out of the court and he will no longer be a member. The young king was not informed about this truth of the case. But however, he gave his verdict on the case and put an end to the long pending case. There was confusion in the entire courtyard. The people moved that he was no more their king and that they never knew him. This problem was taken to the district officer in charge of the division who looked at the agreement between the young king and the members of the community which all the chiefs and elders signed. So the district officer drew their attention to the agreement and ask them to go back and that the young man will continue to be their king. The people then decided on the next line of action and went back home. On reaching home, they met a close brother of the king and told him that they have regretted their action to have made his brother the king, that he would have been the rightful king of, for the people, and that if there is any way he can eliminate the king, who is his brother, they will quickly hand him the crown. It was very easy for the king's brother to eliminate the king because it is he who pours wine for the king to drink. In fact, he is the one who prepares the king's food. So this brother went and bought the bile of a lion, which is a deadly poison, and he added it to the king's meal, which the king ate and died instantly. By their tradition, the king's brother asked to show where the king was to be buried. It was only after the king's burial that he could be made a king. So the brother took a cutlass and a hoe in order to mark the spot where the king would be buried. In the course of doing this, he was shot dead and thereby Two corpses were to be buried. Brethren, can you see what is in the world? This very incident occurred at Ophiafa in Abia state of Nigeria. The world does not want the truth. If you say the truth, you are hated and killed. Those who are called good people in the world are opposers of God's words and injunctions. Every person in the world is taking. Every person in the world is talking about righteousness and holiness. 
No. Both the real native doctors and the deceivers are in a precarious position. How can you, who is real, how can you know who is real? The world does not want the truth. It is said, yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. That was in Timothy chapter, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. Brethren, any person who wishes to satisfy the world has forsaken the ways of God. He has derailed from the truth. Have you not seen the position of things in the world now? Robbers even rob the police and soldiers. They rob the president, the governors and judges. Brethren, here is another illustration. This wages of sin is death. There was a certain community where lawlessness was at its peak. Armed robbery, murder, fornication and other vices were terribly rampant. The rate of this evil was not comparable. Rulership was passing from hand to hand and group to group to test the best. The armed forces, the police, the youths, the elders, the kings, and even women were called to rule. A particular king was so corrupt that his deputy advised him to repent and refrain from the act. When the king refused, his deputy decided to call a general meeting of the people to inform them of what disgrace their king is giving to them. After the first part of the meeting, as it's their custom, they went out for a break. Within this period, the king met with his deputy and asked him not to reveal the truth. His deputy told him that what will stop him is for the king to promise him that he will stop being corrupt. The king told him that if he does not withdraw the statement, he was going to shoot him. The deputy insisted that he stood by the truth and that if the king will not promise to refrain from evil, that he was going to reveal him. So the king shot his deputy in that day. Therefore, when the people came back from the, their break, their deputy king was their deputy king who convened the meeting was dead. The commotion that followed was without parallel. During this time, the king ran away. However, as God would have it, he wrote an anonymous letter to the community and stated all what has happened. How his deputy had wanted him several times how his deputy had warned him several times about his evil practices. How he was the number one rogue a fornicator, idolater, and murderer in the community. That such behavior is not befitting to a king. And finally, he confessed he killed his deputy because he was to reveal all these things to the people and that they will not see him anymore. Brethren, the so-called gentleman of the world, the so-called gentlemen of the world, are thieves and robbers, they are criminals, and none is gentle. No man is righteous and good before God. Brethren, 
a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let, you, let he who has ears to hear, let him hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.